Hey everybody and welcome back to Grunt Reviews. Uh, guys, this one's going to be a full review. As you can see from the intro, you will get to see me get uh, OC'd and CS'd on camera, which some of you may enjoy. Um, but today we are talking about the Mira Safety CM7M Gas Mask or Pro Mask. Um, the benefits, features, and kind of why you need one. Uh, guys, as always, go down below. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment with your thoughts. That helps us with the YouTube algorithms. I will also have a uh, link in the description too if you would like to purchase this. If you buy it through that link, does uh, does help us out here at the channel and helps us keep producing content for you. And without further ado, we will get into it. So why would you need a gas mask? Well, as we've seen, uh, this was something, I guess the best way to put it is uh, I relegated this to military law enforcement and the crazy prepper guys who live in the woods. Um, more and more, as we saw with the, uh, the BLM riots of 2020 and some of the other civil unrest that we've seen over the last couple years, um, the average citizen may very well get caught in the middle of a, uh, a riot or something of that nature with uh, various irritants deployed, whether that be tear gas, CS gas, uh, OC spray, pepper balls, anything of that nature. Um, it is something to consider and something you may have to deal with. So without, uh, without any more fanfare, I will show you. We're gonna test uh, the CS gas uh, and we're gonna test the pepper spray as well. And I will show you that portion here. So we've got a couple cans of the clear out and hopefully my uh, voice uh, is coming through here. This thing actually does have a, a decent projection of, uh, of your voice. So this is, I believe this is a CSOC combo. Yep, CS and OC combo here. So I'm gonna throw one out just to simulate walking through this crap on the street. And then the second one, uh, we'll come back. I'm gonna take it straight to the freaking face. Let's see here, how do you lock in? Hmm, all right, well, we'll do it this way, screw it. So right now, obviously this stuff is relatively nasty. And we're about done. All right. So I can feel it tingling in the hair for sure. Uh, you can definitely feel that OC working. Obviously we got some moisture, but I don't smell it. I don't feel it. I'm not breathing it. Uh, let me grab the other canister. I'm gonna take it straight in the face and we'll see what happens. All right, so this one gonna be a little bit more uh, direct threat, if you will, direct shot to the face. My hair is, eh, my hairline is quite literally on fire right now. Uh, let's see if it works on a direct shot. Here we go. We're just about done. Two things, I should have put my hood up, but I will say this, I'm getting a little bit of fog on the lens. Some of that is going to be obviously from the, uh, from the liquid coming out of that, and a little bit is from the, uh, from the breathing, but the mask is held, the seal is working good, and this canister is filtering just as we expected. Let me uh, go grab some actual OC pepper spray and we'll see what happens. So before we do this, I do want to say my neck is burning, my face is burning. Uh, before we started this, I did pick up me a uh, nice Antifa outfit to, uh, to roll in. Uh, but the other big threat, obviously, that we're going to see domestically would be something like uh, OC spray, if you will. So I'm going to try to tuck this thing up as much as I can. And... Uh, my cameraman's gonna deliver one short blast to the face. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so the mask works just fine. My hairline and my neck are absolutely on freaking fire right now. This stuff is uh, definitely not pleasant, but the filter works, the mask is holding its seal just as it should, and we wanted to prove that it does function as intended, which it does. So as we can see, uh, the mask itself, and then their, uh, this is their NBC 77 cartridge, does function uh, exactly as it should uh, for some common irritants. Obviously, we don't have any of the really uh, nasty, nasty stuff to try, nor would we uh, want to even possess such, uh, such nasty chemicals. But the unit itself does work. Anybody who went through basic training uh, obviously remembers the wonderful sinus clearing experience of the, uh, of the gas chamber, the gas house. Um, and what it does, it shows you that the equipment does work, puts some, put some faith back in, uh, in your equipment, and it definitely did that for me during this testing. Something else I will mention with this, um, so obviously the mask as we see it here, we have uh, two separate eye ports, obviously for your eyes for viewing. We have a uh, chamber connection. This is the standard NATO. I believe it's a 40 millimeter connection and we have that on both sides. So this is adjustable. You can actually go in and remove this and you switch it from side to side. What that is for is left-handed or right-handed individuals. So obviously these are designed around the uh, military or police use. So use with firearms comes into play. Obviously, this is going to prevent you from getting a, a cheek weld on a long gun, and that is why it does move. The other thing they give you with this, and anybody who spent time in the service can smell this uh, through the video, um, but they do give you a canteen. That canteen, of course, does have a uh, attachment there on the top, and that matches the attachment here on the mask itself, which has a nice little storage. So you are able to hook in to the top of the canteen here, and then you have a valve for open and close, so you are able to consume water still inside of that, uh, that filtered, that ventilated, that safe environment inside the mask. You don't have to exit the environment to be able to drink water with this. It is compatible with most firearms, so we did take it out to the range. Uh, we did do some shooting, uh, both with long guns as well as uh, with some sidearms, with some handguns. Um, did try a couple of different optics uh, setups, if you will. Something I will bring up with a pistol, uh, no change. Everything functions exactly like it should. Uh, with a rifle, if you are running a, a low power variable optic, um, depending on your optics height, this will affect your cheek weld to, uh, to a certain extent. Um, you do kind of have to pull your neck over just a little bit more to keep everything lined up. It will still work, but something to consider. Um, and if you are setting something up specifically for this environment, I would recommend going to something a little higher, like a, a 1.93 mount or something of that nature, just to keep you from having to pull your neck over as far. Um, makes it a lot better to get a solid cheek weld and a little bit quicker acquisition uh, of that dot or of that reticle in, uh, in a LPVO. This thing is also fully compatible with night vision, um, as well as a, uh, the helmet, either ballistic or bump of your choice. Something I will highlight here just real quick is, uh, woo, still smell a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that CS floating around. One thing you will have to adjust your helmet slightly. So because we have some additional material up here, those front pads, it will fit just a little bit tighter around your head and you may have to pull your chin strap down just a little bit further since it will no longer mount on your chin. But if you are running night vision with these, let me get my, there we go. Something else too is, is these will sit, there we go. So, your night vision, because obviously we have this plastic in between, it will sit just a little bit further out, so you do want to make sure that you have a mount 
that has a good amount of adjustment to it to bring it just a little bit further out. Something else to mention too with that is uh, with, uh, with your night vision setups, because it is a little bit further out, you're not quite as deep into, uh, into the optic with your eyes, you will get a little bit more of that tunneling effect. However, it will work. And uh, let's be honest, breathing is uh, a lot more important than uh, seeing at night, especially in, a, in an environment like this. Something else you'll see here too, and I'm hoping this is picking up on the mic, this does have an exhaust valve on the bottom. So if I had to put the mask on after an irritant had been deployed, I'm able to breathe out. That should have picked up on the mic. And this exhaust valve here at the back allows me to clear all of the dirty air out of the mask, if you will. Move this off here. That valve allows me to essentially clear the mask, pull all that contaminant out of it, ventilate it out the bottom, and then get back to breathing a, a filter to clean a non-irritant uh, loaded, uh, irritant loaded air. Overall, Mira did a very, very good job with this, and I believe these particular masks are in use with a couple of uh, different militaries, and I believe a couple of police forces as well, according to their website. Comfort is about as good as you can get. Um, definitely just a little bit more comfortable than the pro mask I was issued when I was, uh, when I was still active duty. Um, does form a great seal, obviously, as we saw. But the last thing I do want to uh, talk about, and we'll call it the blooper reel at the end, um, if you are in that environment, whether you've been exposed to uh, OC or CS, something of that nature, you will want to decontaminate yourself uh, before removing the mask. Uh, the day we did this, it was upper 80s, low 90s. Uh, there was a lot of sweat. Obviously, all that was uh, in and around the hairline and the seal of that mask. Uh, I removed the mask and made the mistake of uh, rubbing the sweat without decontaminating. And, well, let's just say that uh, both chemicals had their, uh, had their desired effect. So we're... Uh... We're cleaning her up here, and obviously, as you can see uh, from the hairline, one, uh, whoa, the sweat has slowly started to work it down into, uh, into my eyes, and you can see the fluid still on the exterior of the mask, actually still on the, uh, still on the canister as well. Here, we'll get, a clean, uh, we'll get a clean wipe on that. Thing definitely does work for the chemical portion of this test, and whoa, I am still sweating in the eyeballs. If you haven't done this, the stuff sucks. It's not as bad as a lot of people make it out to be, but it's still not exactly super, uh, super pleasant. And then uh, the sweat moves it around and the wind kind of blows it too. But kind of wanted to give you the uh, behind the scenes on uh, testing one of these bad boys. My nose is running. Obviously not nearly as bad an effect as had they been applied directly uh, to the eyes and the mucous membranes uh, of my face, whether that be the obviously the nose or the eyes. Um, but it is something to consider. So you don't want to essentially uh, survive some sort of irritant or be exposed to it, go somewhere else, and then expose yourself to it again. Uh, I like uh, Sudicon, I believe. They make a great wipe, S-U-D-E-C-O-N, if I remember correctly. Um, has kind of a uh, lotion to it, a good size wipe as well, too and uh, gently putting that on your face, never rub your eyes, will help you uh, decontaminate the area around the mask. Once you pull the mask off, uh, continue decontaminating everything else as well. Mask decontamination, something else to be considered is when this thing is exposed, you will end up uh, with irritant left over on the mask. Um, pull your cartridge out, and what I like to do is uh, take it in the sink with a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid, run it in the sink, get everything nice and clean there, let it soak for a bit, and then I will use those Sudicon wipes to go back over and clean not only these interior sealing surfaces here, uh, but the front of it as well, just so when you put the mask back on again, uh, it doesn't reactivate everything. But all in all, Mira did a fantastic job, and this is a good piece of kit, especially now as we are going into an election year. As we've seen from the past, that tends to lead to uh, violence and riots, 
and it's something if you do live in an area that is prone to those, um, even if you are not involved in anything like that, you just happen to be in that area, uh, this is something to have uh, for yourself and your family so you can uh, exfil that area very, very quickly and do it in a safe manner. Guys, as always, I do appreciate your time watching this. Stay safe, train hard.